Hello everyone, welcome back to another Terraria tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the new in-game boots uh, that are uh, available in the 1.4 update. Uh, essentially what you're going to need is a number of different items. Uh, this is a culmination of many different accessories. So the first accessory that you're going to need is an obsidian skull, probably one of the easiest ones to get. Uh, so for that all you're going to need is 20 pieces of obsidian. You craft that at uh, a furnace or an anvil. I believe it's an anvil. Um, and then once you get the obsidian skull, then you'll need to get water walking boots. You find these in underwater chests, the little blue ones that uh, are found. A lot of times you find them in the ocean, um, at the bottom of the ocean. You'll find them uh, just underwater in places in caverns and stuff like that. So you'll need to find a pair of these. Not particularly difficult to find. Usually, like I said, they're going to be in the oceans. Um, another piece to this puzzle is you are going to need the rocket boots, which are sold by the goblin tinkerer. So the rocket boots are uh, available for purchase from him. You'll take these rocket boots and you will combine them with one of three different kinds of boots, either the sailfish, sailfish boots, the Hermes boots, or the flurry boots. Uh, the Hermes and the flurry boots are both found in chests underground. The flurry boots specifically are found in the ice biome. So you'll need to find a pair of those. And then once you get those, you'll combine them with the rocket boots. Those will give you the specter boots. Now those specter boots let you move super fast left and right and give you the ability to uh, fly upwards like the uh, normal rocket boots do. They give you this sort of flight pattern up this little flight. And then once you uh, have created the specter boots, then what you'll need is you'll need uh, a couple more accessories. You'll need an aglet and an anklet of the wind. So for those accessories specifically, what you'll need to do is the aglet is located in uh, one of two places. You'll either find it in chests near the surface, so in wooden chests just located near the surface. Um, those are just spawned in world generation, so you can find them there pretty easily. Or if you're not lucky enough to find one in the top of your world, you'll need to start fishing. Now, uh, aglets come out of wooden crates specifically, so I would suggest getting a fishing pole that has a lot of fishing power on it get the, uh, the highest level of bait, the master bait, and uh, in addition, also uh, get yourself some crate potions. Now, in a previous video, I actually showed you guys how to make uh, an infinite number of amber, so you can get an infinite number of crate potions, so if you guys want to check that video out, uh, that'll help you out in making those crate potions, so that way you can uh, get these wooden crates a little bit easier. Um, so again, they spawn out of wooden crates, uh, once you get the wooden crate, open it up, and then there will be an aglet in there. It's not guaranteed, but there is a, a chance that you'll get an aglet out of it. The last accessory that you'll need for the lightning boots is the anklet of the wind. Uh, similar concept, anklet of the wind spawns in jungle shrines chests. So uh, with the jungle shrines, they're actually going to have these style chests right here, these little ivy chests. And uh, once you find them underground in the jungle, uh, there's a chance that there will be an anklet of the wind in those chests. Uh, same concept though for that, uh, there is a chance that you can actually get them from fishing. You'll get them from jungle crates. Um, so in order to do that, you'll need to fish in the jungle, and then you can fish up a jungle crate. Again, super useful if you have those crate potions, so if you guys want to check that out. Um, then, uh, so now we're up to the point where you have the, the lightning boots. The lightning boots, the next thing that you'll need to combine with that is a pair of ice skates. Um, now, as far as the ice skates go, the ice, ice skates spawn naturally in ice biome chests. Um, so you'll need to find a pair of those. And then once you combine those with the lightning boots, then you'll get the frostbark boots. That's the step that I'm on right now. That's the uh, latest set of boots that we had prior to this update. So with this new update, what they added is they added the ability to combine the lava charm and the obsidian skull with the water walking boots. This this was another popular thing that they had previously. Essentially what you'll need to do is you'll need to um, go to the Tinkerer's Workshop and here, let's go speak with the guide real quick so you guys can kind of get an idea of what everything looks like laid out. So uh, with the water walking boots, if you look at this, you can take the lava, uh, water walking boots and then combine it with the molten charm and it'll give you the lava waders. So the Molten Charm, um, in order to make that, you need a Lava Charm and an Obsidian Skull. And again, you'll combine those at a Tinkerer's Workshop. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We will take these over here, combine the Lava Charm and the Obsidian Skull, and you'll get the Molten Charm. And now when we, once we've done that, now we can combine these with the Water Walking Boots, and we'll get the uh, Lava Waders. 
And then the very last step, you'll get the Terra Spark boots. So super useful. I actually got a pretty good buff on these. The menacing Terra Spark boots can be worn in vidity slots, allows flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice. 8% increased movement speed, provides the ability to walk on water, honey, and lava, grants immunity to fire blocks, and seven seconds of immunity to lava. So previously, if you wanted to uh, sort of have uh, the ability to not only walk on lava, but also the extra mobility that the Frostbark boots uh, allowed. You had to wear both pairs of boots or swap them out every now and again. Um, there's a pretty neat little effect on these. There's a little green uh, sort of trail behind them instead of the normal like white cloudiness that comes with um, the the Spectre boots and the Frostbark boots. So this is a, a neat change that they've uh, they've added. So I'm super happy with these. Um, again, all of these accessories are available pre-hard mode. There are a number of them that are more difficult to get than others. Um, so a lot of them is just going to be based on your world generation. So you are going to have to find a couple of those items. But uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video, I hope you guys did. Um, please leave a like. And if you guys uh, want to see more content, please check out my channel. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave something in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video.